Hello, everybody. Russ here, and welcome back to the village. So, we're all familiar with this story by now. Quite a lot of tragedy happened in this small, rural Romanian town. And by the way, obviously, this should go without saying, but if you're somehow unfamiliar with the main plot of Resident Evil 8 by now, and you do want to play it, this is definitely going to have spoilers for the main story. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. After the tragedy of Ethan Winters in that village, and the battle against the Four Lords, well... There's still some loose ends to tie up. Sixteen years have passed since that tragedy. The father's story has ended, but the daughter's is only just beginning. Welcome to the story continuation DLC, Shadows of Rose. Let's jump right in. Yeah, normal. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. After Dead Rising, I wanted to jump in the dead space, but then this came out, and well, I need to get on this quickly before I get spoiled, because this is clearly going to be the hot thing at present. So I'll go ahead and jump on the bed. Okay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. To see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. Oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. You want to speak up, Kay? Me? I... If I worry about you, how is, um... How are things at school? Seriously? That's what you wanted to talk to me about? Think we've been mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was. So... You don't have any friends? You can talk to. <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I'm listening. I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well. I think there's something I need to show you. <laughs> you dead ass, bro? You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. Gross. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda, and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so... You... Your... Deep connection... Will allow you to... Explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes. Yes. Yes, Rose, but not dangerous. Right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. 
You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? I think it will be dangerous. Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. <sighs> Fine. What the hell? Time to enter the hive mind. I'm still not over that, uh, <clears throat> Mia fucked and was impregnated by a mold homunculus. Resident Evil's nasty. <clears throat> Man, when I was messing around earlier, making sure things were working, were the load times always just bad in this game? I don't remember. Because they are meaty. Like, oh my lord. I'm still here. Hey. Hey? Where are you? Hey! Mm. This isn't right. Are you in the version from Miranda's memories, or what? All right, here we are. How dark is it on the, uh... Looks about right. It's really dark, but you can still make things out. I'm assuming that's how it's supposed to look. It's brighter on my TV. Which, you know, I do because I know that things term come out darker on the video. I've talked about this before. I know my first couple episodes of the main story were like barely to You couldn't barely see anything and I turned it up after that after realizing. I'm like, oh, it comes out so much darker. And this is a dark game. Miranda's research claims that the Mega My Seat preserves the memories of people who passed away within its area of influence absorbing them into its own vast consciousness. We also know, based on our previous encounters with the mold, that people who are contaminated to the Mutami seat are connected in a kind of mold network. If we extrapolate from this, we can surmise that subjects with a strong affinity to the Mutami seat should be able to use the network to connect to the memories of the dead within the Megami seat. It should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's Megami seat sample we collected 16 years ago. We just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Oops. Unfortunately, this presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevents us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with mutamycete. Certainly, the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it has rendered the confirmation of this theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from this preservation and indexing of human consciousness. The possibilities of preserving or even reclaiming great minds... Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. Interesting. Wait, what? Welcome to the mental realm. Gotta love digging through psychic bullshit. Okay, I can't run. Ah, finally, out of that damn dust.
This definitely appears to be Demetresque's cellar. Oh, stairs up here. Huh. So which way? I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. Okay, well, answers that question. Up we go. Spoopy. I'm sure that's fine. Ugh. So gross. What is this? It's fucking nasty is what it is. I was like, do I see something moving in the darkness? And the answer was yes. Yep. I mean, that is a shoe. Oh! Someone had a bad time in here. Just remember, it's not real. But it's like memories of stuff that's happened in the past, right? So it kind of is real, in a way. Also... All right, so how do I leave the way I came? <laughs> I want out. Let me out. I'm gonna guess if you die in the hive mind, you die for real. Is someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. All right, so, taking all bets, is it a trap? I'm gonna go with yes, because I have trust issues. Justified trust issues, honestly. Which I'm not going to go into, because this is not therapy time. I'm just here to play video games and try to enjoy meaningless existence in what minimal capacity I can. Rose, what are you doing? Okay. Just stopping it from wiggling. Huh. Okay, now I would really like to leave. Please. Rose, sweetie, move a little faster. I beg of you. Fine. That's my name. Yes, it is. An astute observation. To create art, simply add to the rabbit's carcasses. Decay is not an issue. Spruce them up a bit with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Okay. Was that my imagination? I think I heard a sound effect too, which leads me to believe it was not my imagination. And it went into the ooze. Selkie? Oh, don't step in it! I would prefer some uh, bulkier boots than those flimsy ass shoes. Let's hop in. Aw. I was like, fuck it. Let's fuck around and find out. I saw that save icon. Uh. 
is it blood? Is that like blood mixed with the mold? Ugh. Small rustic key seen a lot of use. Ugh. Oh, it's spreading fast. Or something. Ugh, God. This stuff works quick. Hello? Dead woman? gonna drag us somewhere else like a nightmare oh all oh, right this is from the trailer just like me who are you is this Ava I'm Rose what's going on here let's keep moving but too dangerous here Door won't budge. The ooze is blocking it. Okay. Wait, wait up. And she's gone. Oh, no, she's not. Creepy girl, please cease. Probably not a good idea to make too much noise, Rose. That said, yes, please do talk to me. <laughs> For the love of God. And stop disappearing. Oh. Okay, stop walking at a s brisk pace? <gasps> what the fuck? Uh, yeah. What she said. Say from me. Nothing to say from any of y'all. Oh, I didn't notice her behind the barrel. I was like, huh, why is that one weirdly empty? And uh good luck with that. Okay, this way it is. Need to find the handle quickly. Go deeper. Okay, but what about this way? Oh, Oh, that's a flank route. Alright. I mean, it's Resident Evil. You know there's going to be problems eventually. How do I... Okay. Let's see. Jesus. There we go. Yes. I might want that for this new mode. And a refresher on the controls.
That's right. You could freely crouch in this. Oh, wait. Could you in the main story? I can't remember. I think you could. Locked from the other side. Can she really not run? I'm sure she will at some point, right? Once we start getting attacked by monsters. Oh my god. That's gotta be oh, traumatizing as fuck. So many bodies. And they're all yours. Ugh. And their faces are all fucked up. Oh yeah, didn't one of the, like the trailers or I think a tweet from Capcom right before it released said that the monsters in this are called the face eaters? Which is very concerning. Is that really? Oh God. Yeah, that made me jump too. Holy shit. That got me. Because I like my face attached. Thank you. Well, it's definitely nerve-wracking at the start. I'm sure that's fine. That I'm being funneled to one direction and we hear a horrible scream. nightmare and a half. No, ain't the same time rubbing it off. I'd say uh, embrace the powers at the moment, sweetie. Oh god, they're killing all the other roses. Oh shit. Gotta wait for this to open slowly. Fuck, fuck, fuck! How do I get away from it? Oh, is it just instant death if it gets you? Oh no, okay. God, that does not look like something you'd survive. Jesus! Like... I feel like she just doesn't have a face anymore. Well, now I know why they're called what they're called. A dead end. Cause man, that looked like that whole thing just came off. Ugh. No, stay back. What on earth? Go, 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 go. Oh wait, no, time to go back. I, I guess, like, a message appeared on the wall? This way, yeah, okay. Because I saw the subtitle, but I didn't see it, but I didn't see it in the actual, like, game. Okay! So these monsters are officially absolutely fucking terrifying. Jesus Christ. No me gusta.
Yo. What are you? Not enemy. Okay. What were those things? What is happening here? Leave now. How? What is this? Where am I? Go while you can. Not until I get this out of my body. There's a crystal here that will remove the mold. I, I need to find it. And I'm not leaving until I do. Too dangerous. Who are you? My guardian angel? Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Michael works. Okay. Michael? What now? Dangerous here. Move. God, that I'm starting injured. Fuck. Okay. So, Rose's story gets separate save files. Where did I come from? Kay told me about a purifying Chris's power. Says she'll be able to find something when this make my seeds consciousness, find Miranda's memories, don't get how this works, but at least it's not dangerous. Apparently I have to try. So much for not dangerous. Take around her quickly. Hey, Dimitrescu bedchamber. Well, if it's blue, that means there ain't nothing here, huh? Yeah, search complete. Still, just take a look. It is a nice place. You know, minus the monsters that want to eviscerate you, drink your blood, and now suck your face. Giggity. Poor things. I know that voice. So is he really our enemy in this, or are the trailers just misleading? Because I could think of, like, two possibilities as to why he's our enemy, but not really, if you know what I mean. Looks like we caught another! Lively now, aren't you? You should have put that effort into running. It would have made the chase that much more thrilling. Uh, let me go! Let me go! Team, this little rabbit lacks the necessary fortitude. Uh, uh, A pity. You had shown a little grit and actually escaped. That purifying crystal would now be yours. Crystal. <gasps> Who's this? <laughs> Oops. Oh, now we have a new little rabbit to pursue. Let's see how fast this one is. Find her! Hunt her down! Time to run! It's 
Ugh. I gotta be careful of the goop slowing me down. I guess we're just leaving the castle. Thank God, a way out. Never mind. Oaks. In danger. No shit. Need. Weapon. Gun. Will those even work on these fucking things? Seriously? I guess they will. Where am I gonna get a gun? Touch my words. What, like this? Ah, oh, you can see the mold, the veins in her hand. Thank you, Michael! Point and shoot. Yeah, I know how a gun works. Let's dance, motherfucker! On these things? Okay, five shots to the head. You are dead, right? Okay. Hmm. Oh god. Does it just slow me down or like, will that stuff absorb me and kill me if I spend too long in it? Huh. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, fuck it, let's find out. I'm sinking. Oh, this stuff, this will absolutely kill me. Uh oh. Fuck. Jesus. You are lost. Huh. Interesting, it doesn't say you're dead. So it's like, yeah, what happens to Rose in the physical world? Does she just, like, go into a coma, pretty much? Dick. Oh, boy. So I guess I just find a way back. I wonder where I might find the next rabbit. Yeah, get that cra- Okie dokes. They're gone. The fuck they are. I don't know, I like a handgun in the top spot. The hell are these things? This must be the crystal. No, I'm not touching that just yet. Take a look around. Oh, come to mama. Grant me that which sees the truth through its three eyes. And I shall grant unto thee a fucking shotgun. Okay. Need bolt cutters. I have a feeling trying to grab that is going to go horribly. Hmm. Well, it's not completely blocking that. Never mind. Yes, it is. So 
I'm gonna need to find something to destroy these weird flower things. Alright. Large crystal glowing with a pale blue light. Can I not grab it? Uh. Indentation where something can be inserted. I've gotta find fucking masks again. The disciples await their masks, bronze, silver, gold, with their garb array. Masks to unlock it. The light shall be released. Ah, there we go. Okay, so is that main room safe? Is that like our hub room for this story? Yes, please. Is that Rose's breathing, or am I hearing something else? Well, they definitely got the scary part. Fuck. with a headshot, huh? Is it just five shots in general to kill these things? Those are some legit freaky fucking monsters. Alright. Ah, uh, damn it. I wonder if they can open doors. I could have just, like, run them around the table, grabbed those, and got the fuck out without using the bullets. Over here. Should help. If you really want to help, you could back me up against those things. What? So, I'm on my own? Great. Well, I'll take the extra ammo. I appreciate it. Gross lumpy thing down here. But you didn't have anything to say about the, all the other ones, Rose? Yeah, yeah. Hmm, so where to now? Oh, of course I missed something in the dining room. The fucking shotgun I can see plain as day. Ow. Mask trapped. Break core. Core? You mean that... Gross, lumpy thing? How am I supposed to break it? Use your powers. My powers? I literally came here <coughs> to get rid of them. Only way. I mean, hey, girl. Okay, fine. But how? Get that crystal and you get out what of here. What am I supposed to do? And then you won't need them anymore. Need amplifier. What's that? Keep going, through the door. Okie dokes. What about this way? Wait, is this... No, oh, that's literally where I just... Alright, so it pointed... Other routes. Sides. Fresh fuck of nothing. Hmm. 
I know key items generally count on the map for, like, you haven't found everything in this area, so this will stay red until I get that mask, but... Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna need something to unlock this, no doubt. Monocular key. Noticing a lot to do with eyes in this DLC so far. Oh, damn it. So the goop must be destroyed. I'm surprised the layout of the castle isn't more fucked up, you know, considering the magic psychic thing going on here. Alright, in case I need it. I, like, never used gunpowder in the RE2 remake. Was it in the 3-1? I don't remember. Maybe I should replay 3 again, refresh my memory. It's still gross, but... Okay, so chem fluid's used for both, that's right. Can you use these combined together? Oh, that was a note there. I am legitimately on edge. I will say that. Jesus Christ, they really are nightmares. God, could I, like, stealth kill it? Just the two? I think it's time to bail. Yeah, fuck this. That's way too many to fight. Okay, the door closed behind me. Hopefully they can't open doors. <sighs> Man, these cores are everywhere. Damn, I missed the loot back there. I don't think I want to go back there. I'm in that room too, but there's that briefcase behind the core, so I can't get it yet. Well, everything you can interact with is conveniently painted yellow. Uh, you want me, don't you? You dirty bitch. But you can't have it. My booty is mine, and you cannot have it. Some of these really tight quarters, really, uh... 
were definitely designed more for the first person of the main game. Let me change the main menu. I'm pretty sure that only affects the main game, right? Everything else is still the same. Is Mercenaries also still in first person? Even when you're playing as Ethan in it? Nope. Hmm. Jack of shit in here. Oh, actually, maybe there is. Ugh, more crap to destroy. This. Okay. I found a means of dramatically destabilizing parts of the mutamycete network by introducing a disruptive force to block the auto-inducers they use for communication. For example, the hard-packed cores of mold, known as Slerodia, begin to break down on a cellular level and disintegrate when thus disrupted. Slerodia form when the mutamycete develops in new locations, serving as a sort of anchor point or foothold. Uh, gotta readjust my legs! They are often associated with a patch of liquid void through which the mold has spread. When the auto-inducers of the Slerodia are disrupted, it begins to break down. Any liquid void connected to the Slerodia will also disintegrate. It would appear that destabilizing the Slerodia sends a signal indicating that location is no longer viable for mutamycete habitation, triggering a full-scale retreat. So the more of those you get rid of, the better. RW Variant Flask. Unstable. So, what am I supposed to do with this thing? Focus. It's the same type of flask that Focus? her parts were kept in. Right. I feel different somehow. Use on core. Try now. All right. Let's see if this works. Okie dokes. Last thing substance enhances the power of the mutamycete. This number discovered with the introduction of something not. With Catalyst G? Non-toxic. Revitalizes under decompression. Stray? Reaction to living organisms? It's hard to, it's really hard to make out, but there is full writing on that. That's definitely too small on that side for me to read. But it looks like there might be actual writing. I think it is. Damn. All right. Focus here. Cool. Magic. You shall not take me, abomination. Alright, so now I can deal with all this garbage. Alright, attic is cleared. Let's rock and roll.
Goodbye. I can't get around it. I need, I need to get, get closer. All right. Goodbye to this gross garbage. So that note called the goop, liquid void. Uh oh. Do my powers? Do my powers have any effect on these things? Does not appear that way. Oh god! God, that looks just. Uh. <sighs> Hello and goodbye. Fuck yeah. Still something in here. Hmm. Can't reach that core from here. Oh, is that the one connected to the main staircase? I know I keep saying it, but... Right, there's some in here. I can't do it while crouching. Powers have no effect on these things. Let's see if I can get through this room avoiding a fight. Conserve that ammo. Multiple of them. They're decently quick, too. Nice whiff. Oh, God. There are so many of them. So you can kind of classic Resident Evil zombie them. Beta grab, then get around. That was locked, yeah. Is there a core in here to fuck up? No. That was that. What the hell is that? What? Yeah, my my response. Okay, let's grab the items. This wasn't here before. Hmm. I can't tell where that is, though. Monocular door deep in the basement. Okay. 
Ah, fuck, I gotta go back there. Ah, oh, you're not just gonna take it with you? Files. No, you're not gonna take that with you, huh? <laughs> wow, there was like no animation. She just drops. Grab all the other items first. Thank you. Ah, and we can open up this path. Down she goes. One slot on this one. Alright. So now to retrace my steps and destroy all the cores that I couldn't before. Which will no doubt lead me to that monocular key. Rest. What's wrong? The f everything! None of this was supposed to happen. Why not leave? No. Crystal. Here. Thank you. Thank you indeed. Michael is so nice. I can't wait for their inevitable betrayal. Okie dokes. Yeah, this was the one slot. Ooh. Neat. Okay, so one mask down. I think that might be a good checkpoint. We now have access to the second floor. Maybe? Yeah, it's just crumbling very slowly. get back into that main chamber. Alright. So, yeah. I think that's gonna do it for this episode. <clears throat> I'm enjoying Shadows of Rose so far. It's pretty spooky. Like, <clears throat> the, these monsters actually make my fucking skin crawl. That face thing is... Oh, oh, oh God. Capcom... It props on these fucking things. And I'm interested to see where this will go. It's like, wasn't she entering the hive mind just to get, like, information on where these crystals could be found? Because they're missing all the info they need to locate one. If she gets the actual crystal, it won't... She, she can't just, like, transfer it back to the physical world, can she? Like, I feel like that's going to be something that comes up when she finds how it works. And, you know, she put her ass on the line for nothing for all of this. And then something else will maybe happen that leads them to find the real one. I don't know. I'm spitballing. No idea where this is going. But I am into it. Resident Evil 8 is a damn good game. And the DLC is shaping up to be absolute quality. So, with that said, I'm going to leave episode 1 for here. Until next time, everybody, you all have a great evening and take care of yourselves. Good night.